My name's Rebecca Sanders. I have a four-year-old little girl called Hallie Sanders. Um, she has been poorly since birth and we've used the catch services since um, she was six weeks old and she came out of hospital. Um, she has a condition called IgAD, which is immunoglobulin A deficiency. Um, and she also has some other underlying health issues which we're still waiting to get diagnosed for um, at the Royal Brompton Hospital. Um, Hallie gets poorly um, with every kind of six to eight weeks and she has um, a common cold um, or a viral infection that will kind of quite rapidly turn to pneumonia um, and they come around and support me at home to keep her out of hospital because she has a low immune system. Um, obviously her going into hospital would make her a lot worse so therefore if we can stay at home and she can get better here with their support and all I can say is that they're simply amazing. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for them and they've kept my sanity and they've kept my daughter out of hospital and they've been the absolute pinnacle of um, looking after us as a family unit um, as well as supporting Hallie and getting her better um, which happens every six to eight weeks. Um, they come round at all hours, they're on the phone to me and they give me the support and the reassurance that I need when I completely lose it and think that I can't cope anymore. So um, without them, I, like I said, I, I wouldn't be here today. Hi, my name is Ray Mitchell and I have a daughter, Chloe Mitchell, who has a rare chromosomal abnormality. Um, a multitude of sins that entails Chloe having a gastrostomy, uh, portacath and a tracheostomy to help her breathe. Um, Chloe also has talipes, scoliosis, hearing problems and sight problems but don't let that put you off. She's an absolute gem. Um, to say I wouldn't change her, no I wouldn't change her personality or character. I'd change her lungs and her legs maybe but um, no she's her own person, her own, just her own person really, she's lovely. Um, Chloe is hard work sometimes, um, especially when she's poorly. Um, she does tend to go down very quickly, uh, chest infections. Um, we rely on the continued care team to come in and give us some night shifts, some social care hours, just so that I can get some sleep, spend time with my husband, which is important, we don't get much time together, and to spend time with our other daughter, who's now 24, Stephanie, she's now moved out, but it's still important to spend time with her. We also use the nurse practitioners or the catch team. Um, I like to have Chloe treated at home. Um, the hospital environment's very busy and we just feel that she makes a quicker recovery at home. It's more personal, no disrespect, but it's, it's nicer at home and we're closer. And we've also got community nursing team involved as well because we use a lot of medical equipment and Chloe just needs her portacath flushed every month. The nurses that are involved with us are fantastic. We are struggling to get um, nurses to work. Um, it's a very demanding job. It's a very rewarding job, but it's a very demanding job as well. Um, you become part of our family, part of our routine. Um, I'm still friends with nurses that have moved on to other parts of Britain and the world. You know, we've, there's a nurse that's moved to Panama and we're still in contact with her. You, you just become part of our family.